Uba Boska Dwana. Yuna si wame jiu mali de baga kintune ti toki korcha torkyokas. Tara chomo sincho kava volpa muli ji kumana minta barawamba miche dos. At last, you understand, tiny Jedi. You? Who are you? What are you doing on this sh- Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. 
Why have you done this? I? Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here, among us? You know the truth. I have always been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I will gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. Know that you have seen what formerly only I knew. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. Oh, hey. Uh, can I ask you something? Your face. You, well, you have this glow. I mean, not a real glow, but it's like you're calm. At peace, but, but it's more than that. You haven't been chewing on spice, have you? Oh, well, it shows. It's like you're hooked up to a power coupling. It's weird. I mean, not bad weird, just weird. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you would add and... <laughs> but it's just the Force. You know, hooked up a power coupling. You know? Did you get out much as a Jedi? I was asking if you two had been, you know, intimate. Got it. Just checking. <laughs> grenades? I didn't think Jedi used grenades. Well, I don't like to use them unless they're C5 concussion spheres or the Mersan cryoband pellets. Sonic screamers aren't too bad either, just don't use them on a bith. Makes their head explode like a melon. And don't do it to a Celestine either. Makes their ears bleed and they gibber twice as fast. All right, all right, keep your robes on. Here you go. Talk. About what? Sure, very easy. That's why I dress like this. When they're looking down to check you out, you can usually smash them on the base of the skull or deliver an uppercut that knocks them flat. It's simple. When you want a man, you jab him with a boffin stunner, then while he's screaming in pain, slap some stun cuffs on him. Then starve him for two or three days until he becomes open to suggestion, then double check his bounty and see if he's worth anything. Call it what you want. Me? 
I love my targets. Go ahead and ask. It's all this traveling, being trapped in the ship. Everything's... everything's just too quiet. I'd rather be doing something, somewhere with people, activity, some life. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been off-planet. Guess I got used to it. Well, Nar Shadda may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity. Aliens. People. Refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. No thanks. You can keep your Jedi training to yourself. I already know Nar Shadda better than you ever will. Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here. Although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master. Oh, how I hate that term. Answer. No, Master. Uh, I said it again. Answer. Yes, Master. Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Boop. Boop. 
something up. All right. What? Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. If they decide to do a cargo search, we're gonna be in trouble. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits! We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna put us down on that jungle moon.
You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget?
yourself! You thinking what I'm thinking? These jungles are filled with long, narrow paths. Dumb beasts that just keep charging at you. This place is perfect for mines. If the carcasses were worth anything, you could make a fortune.
You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Watch it, Jedi. There's a body over there. A lone Mandalorian. Fresh kill, too. I can't figure the percentage of them still being on this rock. Most Mandalorians I know are mercenaries, and not the cheap kind. Whoever hired him had a good reason to send him to this jungle. There may be more of them around. Keep your weapon charged. Just what we needed, Mandalorians. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? I am a Mandalorian warrior. And this area you are exploring is our territory. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. 
From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. It's Mandalorian business, not yours. I could, but I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip a switch. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you.